in Seattle, you know, or over in Seattle. I remember one time we were walking towards 8th Street. I told you, I was telling you this the other day, Kanan, and uh, just Albert, we was rapping about a few things, you know, that was wrong with the studio. And, uh, like, so there was this guy selling Black Panther papers, you know. He said, Black Panther, Black Panther, brother. You understand? So, uh, so I was walking by because, you know, like, I was, my head was somewhere else at the time. My head was probably involved in my music. And, uh, but Jimmy picked up on it, picked up on our vibe. So first thing he did was he went over and he bought the paper. First you know, thing, right. You know, so, so Albert and I, we looked at each other, you know, and so Jimmy, Damn, man, so, so the guy said, so the Panther said, um, he said, oh, wow, brothers, uh, Jimmy Hendrix buying the paper, Black Panther paper, and y'all not? And so, uh, so we said, yeah, well, Jimmy Hendrix bought the paper because he wanted a paper. Yeah. And we don't. But then Jimmy so looked at us. He looked at you know, us. He looked at us as though the reason he bought the paper was, you know, like to impress. This him. goes out to you, the black kid, the black kid who listened to the dead Kennedys, the black kid who ended their words with NG for words that ended with an N and a G, and got called faggot for your troubles. Matter of fact, this goes out to you who read books if you were a boy and you were called a faggot. This goes out to you for the girl who was good at sports, i.e. better than the boys you played against and you were called a dyke. This goes out to you who gave a shit about what was happening to other people separated by two to three oceans away who didn't look anything like you didn't even speak the same language. This goes out to you who cared enough about your people to do work for those that you've never seen before, never knew anything about, but you knew and understood that it was very important for you to do that work. This goes out to you who dressed like you never gave a shit. This goes out to you who would stand around at a holiday table and not understanding a goddamn thing about all the people who were around you and yet they were your blood relatives. This goes out to you who had to lie about the blockbuster movies that you saw during the summer because really you went and saw a bunch of movies that came from fucking England or France. You just simply didn't want anybody to know because you couldn't just deal with their bullshit. This goes out to you who was turned down over and over again by the bad girl. I don't want to use the B word in the hood. But then when you grew up to be a man, you never ever held one ounce of hostility or resentment towards them because it just simply was the case that you were different from them. And you were actually saving yourself from a lot of fucking bullshit. <laughs> so this goes out to you, the hood kid who grew up to simply be your own person, not the mouth breather, the group thinker, the moron, the loser, the failure at life. This goes out to you. wondered how what is the what is the method i mean how do you straighten out these things that's going on without around? hurting without hurting people you know yeah. getting violent and i say and i said damn damn they impossible yeah. you know i mean we ciphered it out you know if it has to be ciphered out that uh, uh might is right sometimes right you know might is right and and he was mighty he was the king and his castle was getting fucked up all around him, you know, but he was the king of the castle. All he cared about was survival, you know, and peace of mind. And that was the hardest thing in the world for him to get, man. The hardest thing in the world. Because people wouldn't leave him alone. You know, the people that didn't mean him no good wouldn't leave him alone. The people that could do him some good, they wouldn't do it in, you know, the manner that it would do him some good, you know. And as far as I'm concerned, the easiest thing in the world to do is to leave somebody alone. But they just wouldn't leave him alone before and after. Mm -hmm. 